Following the corporate whore's kerfuffle, a top Clinton surrogate likened Sanders supporters to Nazis. And of course, Godwin's law has been broken yet again, but this time by a Democrat. Fascinating. Normally it's for Republicans that do that. Anyway, according to US Uncut, prominent Hillary Clinton supporter Tom Watson recently compared Bernie Sanders' Washington Square Park rally to a Nazi rally in this tweet before deleting it. Now, his tweet said, hate rally in Washington Square. Are they passing out armbands? Hashtag Bernie Bund. Oh, great. Now, of course, as I said, he deleted that. So you mean, it means you know it's bad when you have to delete that tweet. Sadly for him, nothing ever goes away on the internet. It's always gonna be there. And of course, this was caught by, uh, I believe it was at Progressive Mind on Twitter, took a screenshot. Good job, dude. One of our followers, by the way. Um, so, look, I thought the corporate horse thing was eh, not the right word, but okay. In context, understandable. But this, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Why is it that bad? Because Sanders is the son of a Polish immigrant who's also a Jew that fled the Nazis. Oops. <laughs> On that, man, I, I just, look, I just gotta say. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. I tell you don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> that's bad. Obviously, that's gonna be incredibly hard to defend. So, instead of defending it, he tried to get rid of it. Now, who is this guy? Who's Tom Watson? Well, Tom Watson is a co-founder of Hillary Men. Now, it's Hillary Men is a group of male feminists in support of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. All right, that's fine, great. He launched this project with Peter Dow, former advisor to Hillary Clinton and John Kerry, and publisher of the pro-Clinton site, Blue Nation Review. Now, uh, Watson is also the founder of a consulting firm that advises nonprofits and an adjunct professor at Columbia, Columbia University in New York City. Now, uh, this guy should be a bit smarter than calling the 27,000 strong Bernie rally in New York a hate rally. That was pretty dumb. Really dumb. I mean, seriously, shouldn't that be reserved for Trump rallies? I mean, when's the last time somebody got beat up and dragged out of a Bernie rally? As opposed to the 2,700 times that it's happened at a Trump rally. I mean, seriously. Where they beat up black protesters and drag Muslims that were just peacefully protesting in the crowd out. None of that's happened at a Bernie rally. No, they give out free hugs. It's amazing. No. But of course, this guy said... The real hate rally is a Sanders rally where a surrogate used a shitty word. Give me a break, man. Now, thankfully, Tom Watson saw how monumentally shitty that decision was and issued this sort of apology. Quote, Mia culpa. Reference earlier tonight to style of Sanders rally was historically insensitive, unintentionally, but deserves an apology. It's also insensitive to the 27,000 people who were there. But hey. He only had 140 characters to work with. Whatever. Look, man, I got a little bit of a crazy idea. How about in the future, we avoid invoking Nazi references on both sides? Because unless one, uh, one side or the other is sticking people in ovens and shouting Sieg Heil, that comparison is just not even close to reality. Let's stop calling people Nazis unless they're actually Nazis. 